It's sports frenzy. <laughs> What's up, Frenzy Head Nation? Here we are for the Monday night edition of the Recap Show, Season 6, Episode 2, coming at you live. All right, we're going to jump right into some scores for you. Oh, I yeah. am Coach Cole, and Brother Rose, who you can't see, is on the other end. But the voice is still here. That's right, the voice of the legendary Rose is there. Yeah. Did you catch, did you uh, catch the pay per view, Rose? Uh, the next morning I did. I kind of fell asleep early last night because it was a long weekend. Well, you weren't. You yeah, you were gonna watch it later anyway. So yeah, you, gonna, you said you were gonna watch. If if you watched it that night, you were gonna watch it later anyway. So uh, I watched it live. Did you like the pay per view? It was a decent pay per view. Um, it was. I, had some yeah. good matches. I was disappointed with Sting versus Seth Rollins, but um, I'm sure we'll talk more about that later. Yeah, we'll give you a little bit on that in a few minutes here. So let's jump into our picks. High school football. Our first game of the week was uh, Madison over Britton Deerfield, 45-14. to 14. Next up, rivalry game. We have the squeaker game of the week and the first oh. a three. It's a three, a three-point bonus game. It's three, it's a three, it's three-point bonus game. Yeah! It's okay to do the shorter version for the recap show, Rose. Ah, failed. <laughs> it was good. No, I, was, I, I enjoyed hearing you tonight. There you go. Uh, Tecum okay. Tecumseh got the big win over Adrian, 39-20. to 20. Some Tecumseh students were quoted as saying, we stomped them. <laughs> <laughs> Was your son one of them? No, no, because, you know, he doesn't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I shouldn't say he doesn't care anymore. He probably still cares, but anyhow. <laughs> I don't think yeah, he was more interested in when the uh, when Michigan played. So, <laughs> All right, up. We have Columbia Central taking it to Hudson. This was a shocker for me. I thought Hudson would make it a closer game than this at least. But it was 21-0. to zero. Hillsdale dominated Dundee 
48 to 19. Ida had their way in every way, up, down, all around, and uh, and uh, probably brought in their uh, JV team or maybe even their eighth grade team <laughs> and destroyed, annihilated, wiped out, <laughs> crushed, and any other term you want to use for poor old Blissfield. <laughs> the final score of this misery was 56 to 0. Addison got their first win of the year over Napoleon. 50, yeah, buddy. 50 to 33. I voted for these guys. That's right. Panther power, baby. <laughs> All right, this next one is our next three. Three. It's a three point bonus game. Yeah. Yeah. See how we end those on the recap shows? Yeah, yeah, I know. It's all good, though, Rose. I'm failing. I'm still getting into the groove of it. At least we can hear your voice better this time around. On the last uh, three-point bonus game when I was singing, you couldn't really hear you singing. So oh. we're going to hear you. We're going to hear you this time. Yeah. Uh, we have Marenzi putting a whooping on Sand Creek. 36 to 6. Wow. That's kind of, I was struck by that one, too. Your first NCAA football game of the week. We have Michigan State over Air Force, 35-21. to 21. And we have LSU over Auburn, 45-21. to 21. Notre Dame defeats Georgia Tech, 30-21. to 21. Uh, This actually is an anniversary of the famous... Uh, Rudy Rudiger game. Oh, Rudy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know the exact number of years. It, I don't know if it was 25 or 50 or however many years it was. but You know, yeah. hold on. We, we went over these scores, Rose. Hmm. And uh, for this game, I said it was 30 to 22. Oh. And now oh. you just said it was 30 to 21. Is that a typo on your... Uh... <laughs> on your sheet, or did you not hear me when I said that? <laughs> I thought you said 21. Oh, uh, well, it's 22, but it's I'm, still the anniversary of Rudy. So. I'm pulling it up here. I want to see what the score was. He doesn't believe me. I don't. He does not believe me. Uh, unreal. What a Richard. What is this? <sighs> All right. While he's looking that up for you guys, I will give you the score for the Alabama Old Miss game. Old Miss gets a victory over Alabama. I was shocked by this one as well. 43 to 37. Ouch. Um, UCLA over BYU, 24 to 23. You were right. It was thirty to twenty-two. I, you know what? I thought you had me on that one because I could see you with that little smirk on your face over there. Like, oh, he's, he's going to call me out on that one, but I was right. Feels good to be right. Uh, next up, Michigan gets the big win over UNLV, go twenty-eight to seven. Yeah, go blue. Uh, moving on to uh, baseball, we have the. Chicago Cubs over the St. Louis Cardinals, 8-3. to three. The Detroit Pussycats defeat the Kansas City Royals, 5-4. to four. Squeaker in 12 innings. I, the first time, I do not choose the Tigers, and then they finally win a freaking game. Come on, guys. <laughs> so you're rooting for them to lose now. No, I'm not really rooting for them to lose, but they've been so terrible. They lost tonight, actually, folks. They got uh, beat up pretty bad. Well, no, not beat up pretty bad, but they got beat again tonight. So uh, they're they're not having much success. So I would I wouldn't root for them to lose, but I'm being realistic here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, next up, we have the Tampa Bay Rays over the Baltimore Orioles, eight to six. Uh. Roger Dodgers defeat the Army Navy Pirates six to two. 
on to some NFL football action. Uh, again, the other Detroit Pussycat team losing to the Minnesota Vikings 26-16. to And uh, we were playing a little game not called football. We were, we were playing a game, I think, called how many times can the quarterback get hit and still get up? Because Stafford was just a walking target the whole game. And he got up all right, but he's not going to be playing this week, according nope. to sources. So Stafford is hurt. Thank you very much. Good job, guys. I don't have a lot of faith in the Lions this year. Not looking good at the moment. Nope, not at all. Uh, next up, we have the New England Patriots defeating the Buffalo Bills 40-32. to and Dallas gets a win and a sacrifice, though, over the Philadelphia Eagles, 20-10. to 10. And their quarterback, Tony Romo, is out for the season. Mm -hmm. Due to a, uh, he re-injured his shoulder. No, his, uh, what, it? what do they call that? Is that the clavicle right there? Well, this bone, apparently, I think. Yeah. Not going on my medical terms. Should have looked that up. But anyway, Tony Romo's out for the season. Not sure what they're doing for quarterback situation right now. Uh, but rumors are flying around that they're showing some interest in Tim Tebow. So mm. we shall see what happens that way. We shall. On to some NASCAR we have, which was in Chicago. We have first place, Danny Hamlin. Second place. Carl Edwards, third place, Kurt Busch. And Bush, I this Bush wasn't even in the running for the um, in the top sixteen. So this might screw up the top sixteen a little bit. I'm not sure how that works yet. Oh, he was in it. Was he? I thought it was Kyle that was in it. Kyle is too. It's Kyle and Kurt. We're in the top sixteen? Yeah. Oh. Shows you how much I know. And I, I drew up that one sheet, and I still don't know that. <laughs> uh, it pays to have your facts for the uh, show, folks. On to the pay-per-view and why we are filming the show tonight. The pay-per-view ran to about 11 o'clock, a little after 11 o'clock. And so the matches we had, uh, we have Seth Rollins over Sting, and sadly this may have been Sting's last match because apparently Seth Rollins really did hurt Sting. It, from what they're saying, it was in the part where Seth Rollins does his little power bomb and he throws the guy into the corner and the guy back of the neck hits the thing. Well, apparently it caused some damage to Sting's neck is what they're saying, and they're saying that it's probably a career-ending injury. From what I was reading, part of the part I was reading on it said uh, um, Seth Rollins didn't take the proper steps. He was off on his steps for that particular move. So uh, hopefully Sting recovers rather quickly and uh, is going to be okay, whether he wrestles again or not. Our wishes go out to Sting for a speedy recovery. Uh, next up, we have, again, Seth Rollins versus John Cena. But this one was for the United States title, and John Cena gets the win. I was pretty surprised by that, honestly. I was shocked that he uh, actually won the title back. I didn't think they were going to let that happen, but it did. And our final match that we had on here is uh, Dolph Ziggler versus Rusev. And Dolph Ziggler got the win. So I, I was also shocked by that one. Um, let's see. Just looked up the uh, top 16 for NASCAR. And number one is Matt Kenseth, uh, Danny Hamlin, Carl Edwards, Kyle Busch, then Kurt Busch, Joey Logano, Jimmy Johnson, Ryan Newman, Brad Kowalski, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Martin Truex Jr., Jeff Gordon, Jamie McMurray, Paul Menard, Clint Bauer, 
and Kevin Harvick. Those are your top 16. Okay. And those are your leaders. So your top three right now are Matt Kenseth, Danny Hamlin, and Carl Edwards. And then there's two more races before somebody's eliminated from that top 16. So then I think it goes down to 12 or something like that, according to our our list. Um, in other wrestling news, congratulations goes out to Charlotte. On, uh, Charlotte is Ric Flair's daughter, and she won the, uh, I absolutely hate calling it the Divas title, but that's what it is. The Divas title. So, congratulations goes out to her. And, gosh, what else was I going to add in there? There was something I was thinking about football here. Um, I know Stafford is out or questionable for the week, which means he's pretty much out. But, uh,. I don't have a lot of faith in Orlowski, their backup quarterback. So we'll be seeing if uh, how bad the injury is and how soon before the uh, Lions are looking for a backup quarterback as well. Um, oh, the surprise, if you, if you didn't follow us along on the uh, Facebook page last night as we were posting live about wrestling, your surprise entry for the uh, teaming up with uh, with uh, Roman Reigns and uh, Dean, Ambrose. Dean Ambrose was none other than Y2J. Chris Jericho. Like he didn't look much like Jericho out there. He no. got crushed by the big man. So rumor is is that uh, Y2J will be being turned a bad guy here real quick. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all, and I don't like the way they just kind of abruptly ended that match with Jericho just walking out and looking back at uh, Dean Ambrose and uh, Roman Reigns and just throwing his arms up and then uh, just walked out. thought that was kind of goofy, silly. Uh, reports are that uh, former WWE and TNA star MVP... Uh, was backstage last night at Night of Champions. Uh, so was Booker T's brother. Yeah, Stevie Ray. Yep. Just signed a Legends deal, apparently. So I don't know if we're going to see some Harlem Heat action, maybe. I don't know. Not sure what's going to happen there, but to me, I think that would lead up to almost like a Harlem Heat reunion. That could be. Yeah, it's trying to push the tag team division right now. Oh, I just read, though, Booker T doesn't want to wrestle anymore, though. Oh, really? Yep. Well, that's weird. I wonder why they would bring back his brother if probably I mean, probably for the uh, Hall of Fame. He didn't do that much. I would say he didn't do that much as a individual. So yeah, that's you probably right. It's probably for the Hall of Fame there. Mm. Okay, anything else for us, Rose? No, that's about it. Slow <laughs> weekend. And speaking of uh, wrestling, I'm going to give a shout out to a couple of my buddies who are doing a podcast on Sunday nights at 6 o'clock. It is called the Top Rope Review on the uh, Detroit podcast. So uh, if you get a chance to check that out, they're talking about wrestling over there on Sunday nights. So give them a look out and uh, then come back and see us again when we do our recap show. <laughs> That's all we have for you guys tonight. Uh, have a great start to your week, and we will see you again real, real soon before you even realize it. I'm the coach. And I'm Jamie. Be blessed, everyone. Have a great week. Have a great night, everybody.